Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy to have you all here. Guys, I miss you all so much. Thank God we are back. And how are you doing? You know, it's a new year 2021 and we've just started. The year has just begun and we are in February. So how are you all doing? How is the 2021 going with you? We just hope and wish that uh, 2021 going to be a better year. Not like 2020 because we just have to keep praying. <laughs> so you're all welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, if this is your first time ever pumping into my video, any of my video, guy, you are welcome, okay? And feel free to join the family by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you'll be notified anytime I upload a video. So many people don't get notified. They honestly, whenever uh, YouTube or content creators upload videos because you don't turn on the post notification. So many people said, oh no, I don't know when you upload. I don't get to see it. That's because you have to turn up your, uh, you have to turn off the uh, notification button on so that anytime we send in a video, you will get it. And again, some people say that they don't know. Um, sometimes we will put on video. There are a lot that will write on the we write on the description box and so many people don't know okay if you are watching youtube from your phone you get it there is a place you can definitely click to go where you get to the description box you get to see all what people have written or the youtube uh, creator has written into it if you don't know i'm gonna show you with my phone if you don't mind before we get into the video so fast so assuming you go to youtube okay assuming you go to youtube like this for my phone okay uh then maybe you can scroll maybe if you kind of uh, let's say i just open one video like this okay so from this video you can touch this notific this uh, arrow down here and you see then you get to see what is written on the description box i don't know if that makes some sense you know you're going to see what is this because so many people don't know when sometimes people will ask you questions and all the questions are on the description box but since how people don't get to it then they will know so you can see you can actually get it that is if you are using your mobile phone okay without being said guys let's get into what we have today you can see from the title our video today is just what i appreciated the most when i moved to norway there are so many things that I really, really appreciated or I appreciate. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to just highlight a few of them and we discuss it about it. So if you want to know some of them, then just keep watching to the end. And the first on my lips is just the fact that, <clears throat> guys, pregnancy, antenatal is free of charge in Norway when you are legal, when you have a resident permit. If you get pregnant as a lady, as a woman, then it's free. You go to the hospital for checkups, everything is free. The day your doctor confirms you are pregnant and you decide to keep the baby because, you know, guys, it's so funny that here in Norway, when you get pregnant, you go to the hospital. The doctor asks you if you want to keep the baby or not. <laughs> yeah you are asked you know because abortion here is legal so you are asked if you want to keep the baby but then immediately you say you want to keep the baby guys from henceforth everything becomes free of charge i mean free of charge when you are legal that is one thing i really really appreciate when i moved in norway because back in africa i don't think they have a health care like that that you go to the hospital, you are pregnant, you go for antenatal, all the checkups, all the exams, all the lab tests they have to do, carry out on you, is free. But, but I don't think we have that system in Africa. You have to pay for every dime. But yeah, oof, God, thank God, it's free. It's free. So, so many people take immigrants to take advantage of giving birth, of having their kids here yeah, already. Some because it's a good system where you just call, you give birth, everything is registered. You go for a checkup, you go for whatever. 
free of charge. So I really, really appreciated that. And I hope our own government in Africa can do the same. Or if not 100%, but at least maybe they can, like, they could, like, split it. Maybe, like, uh, pregnant women get to pay half of it, you know? Yeah, I think so. Don't say it's not about insurance. Yeah, I don't think our insurance cover our insurance are part of pregnancy. I don't think so. I have insurance. They are not part of pregnancy. Okay, but the good thing is that you get you go for checkup and tenanta for free. And even when you have your baby even delivering, it's free of charge when you're resident in Norway. So guys, I'm just so grateful. And number two on our list, I really appreciate it when I moved to Norway from Africa is the fact that <laughs> when you give birth. You have nine months to one year maternity leave. Oh, guys, this one, eh? This is this is the in fact this is the one the one the part that makes me happy. I just want to fly. They give you enough time to recover. They give you enough time to bond with your baby. They give you enough time to put out things together before you go back to work. You understand what I'm saying, because. It's not all everywhere that you get nine months to one year. In the U.S., I know it's three months. Even in Africa, you know, the maximum should be three months. If I told you have, because they believe that women need to recover. Before you go back to work, you need to recover, both physically, psychologically, mentally. Otherwise, you have to recover. You know, uh, I believe also that, you know, when you give birth, the recovering training for each woman, each pregnant woman is different. They are not the same. Some go through cesarean, some go through natural birth, and they all recover differently. So they really need time for their body to heal, for them to heal, for them to born, for them to adapt to the fact that they have a newborn baby before they go back to work. So I really appreciated this, you know, you have to stay home. But now, okay, getting this maternity leave, that is if you've been working. Because if you've not been working, there's no way you're going to get maternity leave. How will the government pay you? How will you get paid? If you've not been working so it's a good thing you should work then you can get nine months or one year actually nine months is for the mother and three months for the father but sometimes the mother can take all the one year depending on the structure of the man's job or maybe other things so yeah I think so that is one year guys one year nine months it's a lot oh. it's good it's good for both the mother and the baby to recover everybody's poor the you born together so i really really appreciated that and the third thing on my list i really appreciate uh when i moved to norway is the fact that <clears throat> you have 12 percent of what you end the previous year for the next year to go on holiday <sighs> Guy, woof! <laughs> See the way I'm happy. <laughs> See the way I'm happy. That is, if you've been working, if you've not been working, there's no way you're gonna have twelve percent of your annual income. All right, and this twelve percent is like the is like is paid by your company. It is called for a uh, for. Uh, what is it called? I always confuse with maternity leave because they have the same thing. Uh, for a, Something holiday money, please say eh? if you are watching this video, it has gone up more. <laughs> Comment down in the section below, okay? Please, yeah. So they always give you this money, your company pay you this money. That is 12% of what you've earned the previous year to go for holiday, assuming you've earned 500,000 krona. Anyway, just an assumption, no, uh -huh. 500,000 krona, 12% of 500,000 krona. How much is that? You go for a holiday with your family, guys. <laughs> this is amazing. I don't think, uh, in, even in the US, in some European countries, they have this system. I don't think so. I think maybe this is only in Norway. Hmm. No wonder so many people are looking for job. People want to work. Everybody wants to work. Everybody just like, if, if it's one day, two days, three days in a week, I just want to come and work because nobody wants to miss out 
from this money. I'm telling you, even me, I don't like missing out from this money. If I don't have this money, girl, because it, this money help a lot. Assuming you've not been saving or you've had a rough year with your finance, but when it comes to holiday, at least with this money, you can take your family on holiday. You can take the kids on holiday. So it helps, guys. It really, really helps. So I love that so much. I appreciated that so much. And that is it. And the fourth thing on the list that I really, really appreciated when I moved to Norway is the fact that university school education in Norway is free for the government uh, university, but not the private university. So if you are enrolled in any government university in Norway, the tuition is free. Everything is free. So education in Norway is not that expensive. It's very free. So I wonder why sometimes people say in Norway, I don't want to go to school. I am tired of going to school. And it's free. Hmm, guys, me, I will study and study and study till the kingdom come. <laughs> I'm telling you, if I, have, if I have the opportunity to study, I will study. It's free, guys. Actually, it's free for everyone, which means that education is available for everyone. Just the lazy ones will say, I won't go to school because it costs nothing to be educated in Norway. So I appreciated that fact. I appreciated that a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And the last but not the least, <laughs> what I really appreciated when I moved to Norway is the fact that you get to recycle your bodies and get some catch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, like these bottles, the water bottle, the juice, Fanta, you buy from the shop. You know, when you buy this from the shop, you, you don't just pay for the water, you also pay for the container. So, because after you can recycle the containers and you get back your money. And some people earn a living or make a living out of this. Yeah, sometimes I see people going around picking these bottles to go and recycle. You know, you go to a shop, most of these um, shops, you go the mad boutique, then you can recycle your bottles and you get some money. And that money is huge. I'm telling you, you can do a lot, that money. So I just love the fact because where I come from, you will find these bottles littering all over the place, you know. In fact, it, bec it makes the place messy. But yeah, people go around picking them. Even me, when I go to the shop, I buy, I used, I come home, I don't get rid of them. I buy them somewhere and when they are full, I take them to the shop, recycle and I get my money back. So that is it. <laughs> I get my money back and I really, really love that because then you don't get to lose anything. So guys, that is just a few things I thought of sharing with you all about uh, what i appreciated when i moved to norway as an african lady <laughs> i'm proud to be to be an african lady i'm telling you even in my next life i will still choose to be an african i'm just so proud of it so guys thanks so much for watching and if you do like this video please share it please like let's get to 1,000 likes, 2,000 likes. Why not 3,000 likes on this video? If you do like it, please don't forget to share to share, and give me some thumbs ups. And I will see you in my next video again. Till then, stay safe and stay well. Bye-bye.